If you think you are beaten, you are. If you think you dare not, you don't. If you like to win, but you think you can't, it's almost certain you won't. If you think you lose, you're lost. For out in the world we find, success begins with a fellow's will, it's all in a state of mind. If you think you are outclassed, you are. You've got to think high to rise. You've got to be sure of yourself before you ever win a prize. Life's battles don't always go to the stronger or the faster man, but sooner or later, the man who wins is the man who thinks he can. Life's battles don't always go to the stronger or faster man, but sooner or later, the man who wins is the man who thinks he can. Tell me not, in mournful numbers, life is but an empty dream. For the soul is dead that slumbers, and things are not what they seem. Life is real, life is earnest, and the grave is not its goal. Dust thou art, to dust returnest, was not spoken of the soul. Not enjoyment and not sorrow is our destined end or way, but to act that each tomorrow finds us farther than today. Art is long and time is fleeting, and our hearts, though stout and brave, still like muffled drums are beating, funeral marches to the grave. In the world's broad field of battle, in the bivouac of life, be not like dumb driven cattle, be a hero in the strife. Trust in no future, however pleasant, let the past bury its dead. Act, act in the living present, heart within and God o'erhead. Lives of great men all remind us we can make our lives sublime and departing leave behind us footprints on the sands of time. Footprints that perhaps another, sailing o'er life's solemn main, a forlorn and shipwrecked brother, seeing shall take heart again. Let us then be up and doing, with a heart for any fate, still achieving, still pursuing, learn to labor and to wait. We cannot kindle when we will the fire which in the heart resides. The spirit bloweth and is still. In mystery our soul abides. But tasks in hours of insight willed can be through hours of gloom fulfilled. With aching hands and bleeding feet we dig and heap, lay stone on stone. We bear the burden and the heat of the long day and wish twere done. Not till the hours of light return, all we have built do we discern. Then, when the clouds are off the soul, when thou dost bask in nature's eye, ask how she viewed thy self-control, thy struggling, tossed morality. Nature, whose free, light, cheerful air oft made thee in thy gloom despair. And she, whose censure thou dost dread, whose eye thou wast afraid to seek. See on her face a glow is spread, a strong emotion on her cheek. Ah, child, she cries, that strife divine, whence was it, for it is not mine? There is no effort on my brow, I do not strive, I do not weep, I rush with the swift spheres and glow, in joy, and when I will, I sleep. Yet that severe, that earnest air I saw, I felt it once, but where? I knew not yet the gauge of time, nor wore the manacles of space. I felt it in some other clime, I saw it in some other place. Twas when the heavenly house I trod, and lay upon the breast of God. Fear no more the heat of the sun, nor the furious winter's rages, Thou thy worldly task hast done, Home art gone and ta'en thy wages, Golden lads and girls all must, As chimney sweepers, come to dust. Fear no more the frown of the great, Thou art past the tyrant's stroke, Care no more to clothe and eat, 
To thee the reed is as the oak. The scepter, learning, physic must, all follow this and come to dust. Fear no more the lightning flash, nor the old dreaded thunderstone. Fear not slander, since you're rash, thou hast finished joy and moan. All lovers young, all lovers must, consign to thee and come to dust. No exerciser harm thee, no nor witchcraft charm thee, ghost unlaid forbear thee, nothing ill come near thee. Quiet consummation have, and renowned be thy grave. As you set out for Ithaca, hope the voyage is a long one, full of adventure, full of discovery. Lestragonians and Cyclops, angry Poseidon, don't be afraid of them. You'll never find things like that on your way. As long as you keep your thoughts raised high, as long as a rare excitement stirs your spirit and your body, Lastragonians and Cyclops, while Poseidon, you won't encounter them. Unless you bring them along inside your soul, unless your soul sets them up in front of you. Hope the voyage is a long one. May there be many a summer morning when, with what pleasure, what joy, you come into harbors seen for the first time. May you stop at Phoenician trading stations to buy fine things, mother of pearl and coral, amber and ebony, sensual perfume of every kind, as many sensual perfumes as you can. And may you visit many Egyptian cities to gather stores of knowledge from their scholars. Keep Ithaca always in your mind. Arriving there is what you are destined for. But do not hurry the journey at all. Better if it lasts for years, so you are old by the time you reach the island, wealthy with all you have gained on the way, not expecting Ithaca to make you rich. Ithaca gave you the marvelous journey. Without her you would not have set out. She has nothing left to give you now. And if you find her poor, Ithaca won't have fooled you. Wise as you will have become, so full of experience, you will have understood by then what these Ithacas mean. If you think you are beaten, you are. If you think you dare not, you don't. If you like to win, but you think you can't, it's almost certain you won't. If you think you lose, you're lost. For out in the world we find, success begins with a fellow's will, it's all in a state of mind. If you think you are outclassed, you are. You've got to think high to rise. You've got to be sure of yourself before you ever win a prize. Life's battles don't always go to the stronger or the faster man, but sooner or later, the man who wins is the man who thinks he can. Life's battles don't always go to the stronger or faster man, but sooner or later, the man who wins is the man who thinks he can. Go not to the temple to put flowers upon the feet of God. First fill your own house with the fragrance of love. Go not to the temple to light candles before the altar of God. First remove the darkness of sin from your own heart. Go not to the temple to bow down your head in prayer. First learn to bow in humility before your fellow men. Go not to the temple to pray on bended knees. First bend down to lift someone who is downtrodden. Go not to the temple to ask for forgiveness for your sins. First, forgive from your heart those who have sinned against you.